Alright, this is Friday, 15th or 16th of October, I can't remember. Anyway, found, I think, the problem on this Jeep. Right here is the output shaft seal on the transmission. This transmission has been worked on before and they dinged up the seal when they installed it and they dented it pretty bad. More than likely, that was the source of my leak. This little, you can't see it, there's a groove right here, goes into this cavity, and then a groove right here. That's a weep hole, so you know when your seal goes out, you'll be able to see the fluid dripping eventually to the floor after it clears the skid plate. But that's supposed to be there and it's a diagnostic tool basically so you know when you got a bad seal. Drain the oil back out, check my magnet. Of course I didn't have much time on this thing, maybe 30-45 minutes but the magnet was fairly clean. So I might be able to save this transmission over here on the transfer case. My output shaft seal was leaking. I already replaced it. While I got this thing out, I'm going to change the input shaft seal right here. Check my seal surface, and it was fine. And I might pull the yoke and change the other output shaft seal as well. Of course, clean this filthy thing up too. I think weighs about 40, 50 pounds is not terrible, but I got a transmission jack. Makes it a whole lot easier. Getting stuff out is always super simple. Putting it back in is where it gets kind of squirrely. So, yeah, coming along. No real disappointments. But all it is that rear transmission seal, I got off pretty lucky. And uh, I'm not going to drop the transmission. I'll put the new seal in. I already did that. And then uh, put it all back together, button it up, fill everything back up. Then I'll see what I got. If the leak stopped, problem solved. Won't go any deeper. Here's the old seals. This was the output shaft seal. It's pretty much gone, cracked, just garbage. This was the uh, transmission output shaft. You see the dent right here? That was done at some other time when they worked on this transmission. They installed it with a punch. That'll do it. Use an oversized socket. They have seal installation tools you can get. They're dirt cheap at Harbor Freight. Or use an oversized socket. Just take your time, be careful. Try not to damage it like this wing nut did. This is a short enough seal pulling tool. If you ain't got one, get one. A whole lot better than a screwdriver and hammer. Uh, all in all, not terrible. I got no play in any of the shafts. I was really worried about the transmission output shaft. Basically, it's real technical. You try to move it, and I got no movement on this shaft, which will tell you if your bearings are going out. Again, the transmission don't sound terrible. It's just got a bearing wine in it. And I think as I cycle through and change oil a few times, get good oil in it, that's probably going to go away, to tell you the truth. It's done it before. So, oh, this is a 8mm square Amazon dirt Jeep. You get a 10mm and an 8mm 3H drive. Over on the field, they used a chisel and a hammer, boogered it up. I didn't do it, but it's still good enough. So, again, not terrible. The source of my leak was in this area here. So I'm, I'm about 100% certain it was this seal right here on the transmission output. 
anyway, I get new seal tomorrow and uh, finish up the seals on the transfer case, change all of them, and uh, might have it back together Sunday, not sure. Anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.